What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Fisher J, back with another freaking video, man. As you can see, that title and a beautiful thumbnail, man. You can tell what I'm talking about today, man. So, uh, yeah, if you're new here, you might well welcome. My name is Fisher J, back with another video. If you're not, welcome back again. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 50k subscribers right now. Um, yeah, let's get started to the video, man. So, like I said, man, as you can see with that title, in a beautiful thumbnail, man. You could tell what I'm talking about today. But it's probably a long overdue topic. For me, it's consistently since I've been going off of YouTube. Quite a minute right about now. But I'm slowly getting back into the grind. I'm slowly getting back into the grind. But hey, man. I'm going to talk about that who finally won, in my opinion, who finally won the rap battle between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Six guy versus K dot. Yeah, so let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let, let's chop it up. So let me give you all a breakdown of all the tracks that I could think of off the top of my head. So bear with me, right? So I believe this is all started, right? Because Kendrick and I believe in the past Kendrick and Kendrick and Drake used to be cool. I don't know how they first ever started beefing in the first place, way before this rap battle even took place. But I believe Kendrick and Drake was on, on was some somewhat cool in the beginning. I'm, I'm assuming, but then I don't, I don't know what happened after that. To be honest with you, but um. So, this uh, started, right, um, you know, when, um, when uh, Kendrick hopped on, a, hopped on a song by Metro and Future called Like That or something, and it went crazy, because Kendrick, Kendrick had the longest verse you know, of everything, and Kendrick went crazy on, on that verse, I can't lie. Kendrick is most definitely in my top 10, as well as Drake. But when it come to top five, eh, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna get you my top five a little bit later. But going off of like that, hearing it, me first time hearing it, right? And just actually just just actually just like analyzing all the lyrics and stuff that Kendrick had said, I was like, yo, he snapped. And then he said, first person shooter. I thought he was just dissing Cole, but he dissed Cole and Drake. And it was crazy, right? So Cole clapped back and then he he bagged out quick. I guess he didn't want the smoke that code that, that K Dot was gonna give him. He apologized. He said it wasn't right in his soul, his spirit. And some of the fans was mad. <laughs> some of the fans was mad because this is not what rap rap be supposed to be. You don't supposed to come out and apologize, but knowing Cole, Cole is Cole. He's still one of the greatest lyric lyricists that I have ever heard in my in my whole time being on this earth. Probably one of the greatest. Outside of Hove, M, Big Shine, Lil Wayne, yeah, Cole is up there with them. So so yeah. So after Cole, you know, after Cole and did what he did, he apologized. Here comes Drake and and Drake dropped the dropped the disc. It was called dropping you be 50. And in this case, he really didn't just go at Cole. He went at Metro. He went at Metro. He went at uh, Rick Ross. He went at Future. And the last person I believe it was Kendrick he went at. But yeah, he, 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 and that record, that record was hard, I ain't gonna lie. That record was hard because I'm, I'm me personally. I'm a I'm a Drake fan. 
I am a Drake fan. I'm gonna say that. I'm a Drake fan. But I'm also a big fan of great music. And it took me some time to realize, like, hey, yo, going up against K Dot is it's okay, but can 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 you win? And I'm like, I don't think you can win. So I'm in a whole bunch of group chats, and I'm like, yo, I think I think Kendrick, uh, I think Drake got him. And then Kendrick responded, and I'm like, okay, okay, Kendrick responded, but he just didn't respond with one. He dropped two on the same day, and I was like, yo. What is going on? So then I got on the internet, everybody I know on the internet, they tell me, hey, Drake got to fight back. Drake has to fight back. Fuck, Drake has to fight back. So then, you know, I'm listening to both of the Drake, both of the Kendrick records he dropped, man. At this time, at this point, I had Drake up 1-0 when he responded, right? I had Drake up 1-0. But then Kendrick responded with two of them. And I was like, eh, I don't know. And then, me you know, and then Drake, no, I don't know. And then, then the score was 2-2. And sorry, the score was 2-1. Because of Kendrick, he, now if, you, if you're not a Kendrick fan, if you don't understand what Kendrick be saying, because he raps so fast and does all these little different um, sounds and monologues and stuff on his um, at the end of his words and all this other stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like I said, Kendrick is he's, he's up there when it comes to all them, all them bars and stuff like that, right? But then here comes Drake <laughs> with the Family Matters. <laughs> With the with the family matters joint, and I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all ever remember like the van that Kendrick used in one of his videos or her so some of that right there. It was like a little family van. It was a burgundy family van, right? And so I'm watching the video as soon as it dropped. You know, I'm on the edge of my bed. I'm going crazy. I'm like, oh, Drake dropped. He going at it with Kendrick. And then I heard, I see the van. And then I heard music. I said, oh yeah, this is the greatest rap battle we have ever heard. Probably since Big and Park. Probably since Hov and Oz. Probably since um, Cube and um, Cube and, and, um, and Easy and all of them, and it was it's up there for sure. Um, I was like, wow. But then, yeah, it was crazy. I was like, yo, not the van, not the, not the family van. But Kendra dropped again. He say, meet the Grams. I said, oh no. I started listening, analyzing it. I said, nah, Kendrick talking. And then what made it even more, a little bit more interesting because Kendrick had the world talking. Kendrick, Kendrick took a book, took a page out of Pusha T's book and tried to claim and say, tried to say Drake has a daughter. Now, the last time somebody said that was Pusha T. And Pusha T was actually correct, right? But you can't. Here's the thing with me, people. You can't quote unquote say somebody has something or claiming them to be, a, be with all these other things that we're claiming each other to be. You can't do that without proof in me. But here's the thing I will say, when you have beef with other rappers, keep it beef. Don't involve kids, don't involve wives. That is 
strictly our limits in a rap beat. Keep it P, like that, that is strictly our limits with a rap beat, right? So, and I'm listening to all these good tracks. Remind me of the 90s when the West Coast versus the East Coast, remind me of all that. And I'm just listening, I'm analyzing it. But then Drake get on social media talking about some. If I have a daughter, I'll quit rapping. Trolling the internet automatically. And then what tops the what tops off the beef again? Drake responded, which I thought it was gonna be the end of the rap battle. He responded, cleared up all the allegations or whatever that people was accusing him of about sleeping on younger girls and all that. But I'm like, okay, mm, cool, cleared it up. I thought the beef was over, right? And then, ladies and gentlemen, Kendrick went to go get one of my top five favorite producers to produce his next track, right? So I'm analyzing, I'm hearing it. And I'm like, as soon as I heard Mustard on the beat, I said, yo. I said, yup, it's over. Kendrick, you won, it's over. Cause if you ever, if you heard Not Like Us, you can't tell me that it did not have you on a crib walk. That it did not have you on a crib walk as you doing our uh, A. But my overall opinion, man, between the two, man, we probably had never seen another rap beef or another rap rap battle or another two rappers beefing like this again. Cause this for sure was was most definitely up there. We would probably never see two well well mimicked rappers, man who um, probably won't ever see it again. But man, that was, this is what the world needed, man, for sure. This is what hip hop needed. And in a way, shout out to Kendrick, shout out to Drake. Um, y'all made hip hop great again, man. I just wanna let y'all know that. Y'all made hip hop great again. If it wasn't for y'all, hip hop would have been dead. But salute to y'all, man. Um, y'all gave us probably one of the best rap battles, rap, rap beefs of, in history going down for sure. Um, but if I have to say one, I might have to say Kendrick. Kendrick took it, bodied it, especially with that last song. He flipped it and created a club banger. <laughs> and, and yeah, so. That's my opinion, man. Them, them are my thoughts, man, on, on the rap battle, on the rap beef. I don't know I keep saying rap battle, rap beef. Um, and yeah, man, this concludes the video, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, whoever want to be a part of Team OJ, man, I'm here. Accepting everybody with open arms. All you got to do is just simply click that subscribe button. And run them likes up, man. Run them views up, because we back in summer. It's when they really get too hot. So uh, I'll see y'all in the next freaking video, man. Love y'all. Stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. We gone. Peace.